Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the how to series and in this episode today I'm going to show you how you can use your mobile phone to scan documents using just a free app from Microsoft called Office Lens. So not only is this app free but this app is also devoid of any kinds of advertisements. So without any further ado let's get started. So whether you are on Android or iOS, go to the respective app stores and get the Office Lens app from Microsoft. So I chose Office Lens app because it is a free app and even though if it's a free app, it still does not contain any kind of advertisements. So once you have done installing the app, open up the app from the, its icon, go through the initial setup process and give the app permission to access your phone's camera. So once that is done, as you can see, we have the photo document and whiteboard option, but since we are using the a document we will use the document option and just quickly take a picture of it at any angle so as you can see the app will crop the picture out leave the rest of the portion and just focus on the main document you can just click on done and as you can see you have a very number of options to save we'll just click on photo library to save the photos to our gallery so you just have to give permission and once you do the image will be saved to your gallery However, if you are not satisfied with the way the app has cropped your document and your scan document, you just can click on the crop icon and manually adjust the corners to select the document properly if the app does not get it right. So once you are satisfied with your selection, click on done and you'll just have the new scan document. Also, there are other saving options like you can email the document to yourself or you can save it as a PDF. However, if you save it as a PDF, you'd have to sign in to your Microsoft account. On the Android, the options are slightly different. You can select the amount type of document you are scanning by selecting the option on the top. Since we are using a document here, we will just use the document option and take a picture. In the Android app too, you can adjust the crop later if you are not satisfied with the way the app has done it. So once you are satisfied with the crop, you can just hit on the save icon at the bottom. And as you can see, there are a couple of options here. The OneNote is selected by default, so keep that unchecked. Keep the gallery option checked at the bottom and just hit on the right icon and the top right corner and the image will be saved to your gallery. So that's pretty much it from this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I post three amazing videos every week and I would very much like if you can drop a comment down below with your thoughts and suggestions. As always, thank you guys for staying till the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.